At ease, Grunts, Executive Arizo here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Diamond Randomizer and Nuzlocke. And in the previous episode, we caught ourselves a Dratini as well as got to the city. I can't remember for the life of me what is this city. Uh, Eterna City. And in this episode, we're hopefully going to take on the gym leader Gardenia or, some, Gardenia or something like that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So, considering this is randomized, I'm going to have no idea what Pokemon she's going to have in store for us. Um, I know her max level is 22, but I feel as though we could probably handle anything she's got. I'm going to go ahead and grab this item real quick. The Wide Lens. No idea what that does, so hopefully uh, one of you guys in the comments can go ahead and tell me. But with that being said, let's go ahead and enter inside this gym and let's see what's going on. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the bag. Good luck, challenger. Alright, let's do this. Do we get a free, like, water bottle or anything? How's it going, chant the B? blah de blah blah de blah And blah de blah de blah blah de blah Alright, I guess not. Well, with that, I guess, being done, let's go ahead and start this gym battle. Um, we're going to have a bunch of trainers to battle. I kind of want to battle them just so that I can level up a bit. Uh, is there anybody here? Where's everybody? I'm just, like, running into trees and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to have to find them. Aha, there's one. How'd you find me? It's kind of pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious where you were. Surskit. Okay, Rufus. Rufus is, can do neutral damage to you, so... Die. Sweet sense. That's not going to do much. Neutral damage. Let's do this. I really wish I had something like Flame Wheel. I could really use something like Flame Wheel right now. Um, 202 experience. Bonsley. What is that? Like fighting? I think it's like fighting. I'll stay in. I think it has like rock throw though, but I just want to, let's see. Oh wow, that did super effective damage. Yeah, low kick, that's not going to do much. Boom, we'll brick break you, knock you out. And we are almost up to 17. I really want to level up as soon as possible. Past the two boulders, I think. Okay. Thank you, woman. Uh, there's the two boulders. There's one trainer right here. Grass-type Pokemon. blah -de blah Yeah, well, this would be very useful if, you, if it was a grass-type gym. But it's not. And we can bite the Haunter. And we should get some decent experience for that. Yeah, we're at level 18. Jolteon, uh, might as well switch out to, oh, I can't really do anything with anyone else, so we'll just stay here. I don't know if this thing has, like, static or something, so I'm just going to use, uh, Ember. Hit it from afar. Oh, man, I'm going to miss. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Freaking sand attack. I hate sand attack so much. Such an annoying, such an annoying move. Oh my god, please don't miss. Please. Thank you. Alright, so no matter what Pokemon... Yeah, I'm, I'm switching out. Uh, let's switch it to Al Capone. Al Capone can do something. Al Capone could probably use, like, wing... Yep, wing attack. Boom. Knock out the Machop. We're done. We're done here. We defeated Dudley. Next trainer is in the middle of the two trees. Thank you. Where? Where? You lied to me. I'm guessing like over here actually. Aha! You weren't there before. What the what the flip? You try to conceal yourself in the aroma of flowers. Alright, you have a float soul. This is gonna be tough. Uh, and actually not really, because I could just switch out to Booker and Booker can destroy this. Oh pursuit! That was bad. <laughs> that was close. Uh let's go ahead and magical leaf this thing. I mean, I could Mega Drain, get some health, but, you know, whatever. We destroyed Floatzel. And let's continue on. The next opponent should be beside the Flowers. Ooh, Flowers. Flowers Thonith. Oh, she's probably over there, but let's go ahead and switch out to, like, uh, Beacon. Let's put Beacon up front. Just because Beacon is... Uh, I just use that full health. That's the only reason. Pine Co. That thing can self-destruct. Um, 
I don't know what to do. I don't want to switch out to any... Uh, I mean, Beacon can probably take... Okay, yes, he missed. Thundershock again. Bide. All right, we knocked him out. He's done. Goodbye. Exploding Pinecone. And we defeated everybody. We can now take on Gardenia. But before we do that, we got to always heal. So we're going to go back and heal. And then we will take on Gardenia. And we will move on with our lives. We'll get our second gym badge, hopefully. And we can uh, do some other stuff. So, how's your guys' day been? My day's been pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, school was pretty boring, but boring isn't necessarily bad, though. Boring can be, like, you know, good. Like, nothing bad happened at school, so that's good. But nothing super awesome happened either, which is kind of lame, but whatever. So, uh, let's go ahead and take on Gardenia. Who should be right up here. And I don't know who to lead with. Who should I lead with? Should I lead with Beacon or should I lead with my most powerful Pokemon? I think I'm going to go ahead and go with my most powerful Pokemon. I'm going to go with Al Capone. Actually, he has the most HP just in case. And he's... I guess he's my... Right now, he's my ace. In my opinion. And I'm going to scratch my nose real quick. But you guys can't see it because no face cam. And let's do this. You are challenged by Gymnast Chloe. She's going to send out a Vile Plume. That was a good send out right there, huh? I, I anticipated that. Not really. That is such a weird pose. Look at that pose. It's such a weird pose for Vile Plume. Alright, let's go ahead and wing attack this thing. And we should probably knock that out in like literally one hit. Yes! And we got a crit. I don't know if the crit mattered. But either way, Al Capone is going to level up from this for sure. We're up to level 20. And let's see. Do we get any new moves? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Volbeat. Uh, that is also something we can take out in like literally one hit. I was like trying to... I was trying to remember what a Volbeat was. Because I thought it could be like electric type. Because Vol and like Volt... But, like, then I remembered, I was like, oh, that's Illumise's twin. So, like, we, we got this. It's all right. And Volby can't take a wing attack. So, we're good. Al Capone is just cleaning up. He's just wrecking house right now. And Al Capone is just doing what Al Capone usually does, you know? Just takes down people. Oh, my gosh. Like, literally everybody on her team is just so weak to Al Capone. And her ace is a hop -ip. A level 22 hop -ip. Oh, that's that's a little sad. Take this wing attack. And let's see how much this does. Probably going to knock it on one hit. Yep. Literally nothing. Like nothing. And we defeated Gymnast Chloe. That was the easiest gym battle ever. Amazing. You are very good. We got $2,600. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be this so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I probably grant you this. And yes, we got the Forest Badge. So now, on the layout right now, we have an updated badge case with the uh, new Gym Badge that we just received just now. And now we can use Cut outside of battle. We just got TM86. Um... So, that is Teeter Dance. That should be pretty awesome. Teeter Dance is really good to have. And let's see. Can anyone learn Teeter Dance right now? We have Sky Uppercut, Razor Leaf, Torment. We got some good moves right now. Uh, Teeter Dance. Let's see if someone can learn Teeter Dance. Teeter Dance is really good for, like, FFA. It's just to annoy people. But, um... I don't see it being used like in game so i don't see really the necessity for it but uh, i'll keep it just in case and now since we have cut or since we can use cut outside of battle i'm gonna go ahead and grab up somebody that i'm probably not gonna use on the team and just teach him cut real quick so that we can uh advance the game so move and i'm pretty sure uh, we're not going to use Fat Bat, so I'm pretty sure Fat Bat can learn Cut. 
and we'll just teach him cuts, so. And even if I eventually want to use, like, I don't know, a gold bat or something, I could always just, like, catch one in the cave, because they will probably most likely be my first encounter. And it can't learn cut, so that sucks. I don't understand, like, it could probably cut things down with its teeth, just bite it off. But whatever. Uh, can Cleffa learn cut? Can Cleffa learn cut? That'd be pretty cool if Cleffa could learn cut. If Troll.jpg can learn cut, that'd be awesome, possum. Nope. Okay, this is not good. This is not... This is unchill. This is unchill. Okay, uh, please stop. You still haven't had a death yet. That's pretty cool. Um... Dratini. Alright, whatever. Wait, oh, actually... Oh, man. I really need to teach somebody cut, don't I? And I don't... Want to... Wait, well, can... Can Bayonet? Or right now it's a Shepard, but... Can Bayonet learn... Cuts? Probably not. Probably not, but let's see. Yeah. Literally, I think only Booker, and I'm pretty sure Monferno can learn it, but why would I want to teach a Monferno cut? That's just pointless. I think I'm just going to catch an HM Slave and just use it, and if you guys get mad at me, I'm sorry. Oh, actually, wait. I can get an encounter right now. I can, t I can get an encounter right now, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and do it. I can get an Interna City encounter right here. This is technically Interna City, so let's try it. And it's randomized, so you'd never know. Uh, where can I go? Where is... Where's my old rod? I'm pretty sure I got an old rod. There it is. Uh, let's use it. Uh, please. Not even a nibble? Are you kidding me? Come on, let's use it again. We can do this. Are you joking me? One more time. I'll use this one more time, and if not, I'm just gonna leave. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go, third time's the charm. And- Oh! Oh! What? Cresselia, hello, how are you today? I'm doing fine. I'm throwing a Pokeball. How am I gonna catch this thing? How am I gonna catch this thing? I don't even know what typing this thing is. I know it's a legend. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, I missed. Ha, it doesn't affect me. Ha <laughs> ha. If I astonish it, I'll probably kill it. Yep. Wow. Darn it. Oh, man, a Cresselia. Wow. That woke me up. I was a little bored. Like, I was, like, you know, bored from school, and I kind of got tired. But that woke me up. That really woke me up. Whoa. Cresselia. Wow. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, skip that guy for now. And uh, let's get our Mount Coronet encounter. Hopefully, we'll have better luck with catching. Oh, a bow toy! <gasps> I like it! And I actually really like bow toy! Bow toy is a sick Pokemon! Um, okay. I'm probably gonna kill it. So, I don't want it to explode. Hopefully, it doesn't have like self destruct or something. Please! Please don't self destruct! Please don't self destruct! Ooh. Thank you. Alright. Oh, come on! Please stay in! I really want you to stay! Stay! Now, won't you stay? Yes! With me! And we got Bao Toy, and you already know what I'm about to name this if you guys are subscribers of my channel. And to pay homage to my soul link with the Silver Slasher, um, I'm gonna go ahead and name him Octopops, because that's what I freaking name all my uh, Bao Toys and Clay Halls. So, we got Octopops. I really like the name Octopops. I really like it. Levitate as its ability. Rapid Spin. Harden. Uh, Rapid Spin. Harden. Mud Slap. Psybeam. Pretty decent moves, to be honest. 
Uh, it doesn't have self-destruct, so okay, that's good. But darn it! And I'm really thinking about adding him to the team because let's see what let's see what team needs I have right now. I really okay. So I have a flying type. I have a fire type. I have a grass type. I don't have a water type. I think. I haven't, last I checked, I didn't, I have an electric type. So yeah, yeah, I don't have a water type. And I need a water type in order to per, uh, progress through the game. So, but I do have room for an extra, like an extra Pokemon that I, you know, don't really, you know, need. And, you know, just like an extra slot of just like a pretty exotic, not exotic, but like, you know, different kind of typing is what I'm trying to get out. And Octopops would be pretty awesome to have. I've never had a clay doll for that long. Like Octopops in my Leaf Green Soul Link was basically, I had him for like literally like an episode or two and he died. So I haven't had, I got the chance to use a uh, clay doll to its full potential. So. I would really like to add it to the team, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. So, Clay Doll, or Baltoy, Octopops, whatever you wanna call him, is officially added to the team. So, he'll be in the sidebar as well, or the layout. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just bite the bullet and just teach some person that I will probably use later in, in any case. Booker can learn cut, but I don't want to teach Booker cut. Why would I want to teach Booker cut? One of these two. I don't even think Dratini can learn cut. I think Mon Monferno is the only one that can learn cut right now. So I'm sorry, Monferno. I really am. But in any case, I will probably still use you if something happens to, Ruf to Rufus. So I will probably use you still. Don't worry. I'm just probably uh, gonna have to find a way to move. To I'm gonna have to find the move deleter, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna have to find the move deleter, the deleter, deleter, and until then, you're gonna have cut. I'm sorry. It's just I need you to be my cut slave for now. So let's go ahead and continue on here. Sorry, Monferno. Jerry, I really like that name, Jerry. Jerry! And um, we're actually gonna go in there in a second. I just wanna grab that item that was over there. I saw an item and my OCD kicks in and I have to go grab it, so. Uh, boom! Let's grab it. We got TM19, that's so sketchy. Like, that's so sketchy, dude. It's so sketchy. And is there a hidden item here or something? Hidden item? Hidden item? No. All right, so let's head inside this building. This spiky building. Who has spikes on the side of their buildings? That's weird. All right, so let's go ahead and battle Team Galactic. Team Galactic is an interesting in doing stuff. We are not stuff. We do stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch out here and put Rufus up front. And I'll put Octopops on the side so that he can get some experience. Do I have the experience here? I wonder. Do I have the experience here? I have a max revive. Honey, I have a repels. Power lens, root fossil. Root fossil. Where did I get the root fossil? Whatever. Let's do this. And we're going to have a double battle here. And if it's anything that's strong as Octopops. Octopops is really weird. Uh, not weird. Weak right now. So I'm going to switch. Oh, this is not good. Like, literally... Not good. I'm switching out both my guys, like both of them. Booker is coming in, and Octopops is coming out, and oh, Schneider. Uh, I'm switching out the Beacon. I'll switch out the Beacon. Beacon can probably take every anything that. Yeah, I knew they were gonna go for the water gun on Octopops. They were gonna, they were gonna gangbang him. Jeez. All right, so let's Magical Leaf. Wow, Magical Leaf doesn't hit both. That's lame. All right, so they're probably going to attack Booker now. 
So I'm going to go for the Finneon. And, oh, actually, no, you know what? Scratch that. I'm going to go for the Rhyperior. And I'm going to Thundershock the Finneon. There we go, that's better. That's better. Take two birds with one stone. Well, this isn't really one stone, but you know what I'm talking about. And B gets up to 20. Cotton Spore. What does Cotton Spore do? What does Cotton Spore do? You usually release a Cotton like Spore. Clings sharply reduces speed. Nah, not worth it. And we're going to Thundershock the Finneon. Knock it out. And we got some experience for that. Pineco. Okay, so we're going to stay in. Polito, geez. Alright, so we're going to Magical Leaf the Pineco, and we're going to Thundershock the Politoed. That's gonna. Yes, we got the crit. And we're up to 21. And then. Oh no! Oh, we got the. We got the Paralyze Hacks there. We got the Paralyze Hacks there. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna knock out the Politoed. And that, wow, that gave us a decent amount. We defeated champion Liliana and Wellington or something like that. I think it's Wellington. Whatevers. Uh, now we're switching Octopops up to the front. And we're just going to do the switch out strategy. The switcherooski strategy. And Team Galactic's working hard to do your mom. And let's go and battle this guy. Esteban! Hey, how you doing, Esteban? Alright, so let's go ahead and switch out to Beacon. Beacon can take on a Meryl, right? Yeah, it can. Let's go ahead and Thundershock this Meryl. That should knock it out in one hit. We can move on. Beacon's getting 79 experience. And I didn't even see what that it said, but I'm just switching out to Octopops anyways. A Seedra. Oh, that should give us some good experience as well. And let's switch out to Beacon. Clear. Thundershock. Boom. And I still haven't done a grinding montage yet for this series. And I'm thinking about doing it soon because I'm kind of under leveled now. And I'm guessing by the third gym I'll probably be a little bit under leveled. So. But. I'm going to cop. <coughs> but uh, besides that, we can go ahead and battle this thing. And we're going to go ahead and switch out to Beacon. And we can go ahead and use Thundershock and knock out the Staravia. Staravia. And let's see how much experience we got. We got a lot. Octopops is up to 14. Octopops! And uh, I'm guessing... Do I have any healing items or anything like that? I have five potions. Let's use that on Beacon. Let's get him healed. Just in case, I want to throw him into battle again. Let's battle you. Wow, thank you. We love to do blah blah. I didn't understand what you said. Champion Joe. Octopops. Oh, man. I don't want to risk it, but, like, I can probably take this thing. But I'm not going to risk it, so. Switching out to Booker. Booker can use Magical Leaf. Yeah, Rock Throw probably would have done something. I don't know how strong... I mean, actually, wait. Pretty sure Octopops' defense is pretty good, so I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to risk it, you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want to risk it. I still don't want to risk it. <laughs> uh, We still don't... I mean, he's going to be my counter to Electrics, so that's good. Um, Because besides that, I have a pretty big weakness to Electrics. But he's going to be my big counter to electric types. So that's good. We got my electric type weakness kind of overted, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a word. Should I ember? Brick break? Let's go for a brick break. Low kick. We can take that. Brick break again. Knock out the electabuzz. We got static. That's fine. And bell sprout. Bell sprout. And what is level? What is his level? I don't know if Bell Sprout's pure grass or if it's grass. Po I think it's grass poison, but let's go and switch out to Al Capone. And Al Capone can use a super effective wing attack, and boom! There goes Bell Sprout. 
An Octopops is up to 15, and we're learning Rock Tomb. I'll get rid of Harden for that. Who wants to know Harden? All right, so there we go. James Harden. We got rid of James Harden. Like the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's a basketball reference if you guys didn't know. And let's go ahead and continue on. Let's talk to you. Scientist man, what do you want to tell me? Weightlifter Thomas. He definitely looks like he lifts weights. Um, Alright, so Pelipper should give... Although it's a, it's a terrible Pokemon. It should give out some decent... Oh, man. That's annoying. But we got the quad effective electric type. Uh, even though this is a crappy Pokemon, we should be able to get some good experience since it's basically an evolved Pokemon. And I am correct. We're up to 21. And we defeated the weightlifter Thomas. Still doesn't look like he lifts weights. And look. It's a woman with pink hair. Let's do this. I'm so ready. Let's talk to you first. What does this team of Galactic Blah Blah accomplish? Eh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, right. And it's Elite Trainer Daniel. He's gonna send out a Larvitar. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and switch out here to Booker. Booker T. Rock slide that oh my gosh that did a lot. Let's mega drain get some health back Mega drain to get that health back uh, Pichu I'm pretty sure Pichu can't touch us, so I'm gonna stay in with octopops here It's level 20. I'm pretty sure it can't do anything to us nasty plot now. That's bad. Oh My god, okay, we're we're gonna oh god sweet kiss you, oh my gosh. Yeah, we still got the mud slap off. We're lowering the accuracy. Oh gosh, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared right now. Of the nasty plot, that's what I'm scared of. I'm gonna go ahead and HP restore right now, just in case. Does something weird. Nasty plot, oh my gosh. Do you have like an attacking move? It probably has like Thundershock or something. Please, just thank you. Alright, I'm going for Psybeam. It's gonna knock it out here. Oh my gosh, no. Yes, it missed, thank you. And we knocked out the Pichu. We defeated Elite Trainer Daniel. Got experience. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation has finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing our boss is researching the myths the the myths of ancient pokemon with the power of mythical pokemon he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. i suggest you keep out of team galactic's affairs from now on this is your last warning oh, i got my clefairy back and it's all thanks to you but that team galactic they said clefairy came from space handed over their logic baffles me still it's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now. But cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Alright, so uh, I guess let's go ahead and cruise over to his, his cycle shop. I like that word, cruise. Reminds me of a uh, decent actor. Not really, yeah, short actor who's kind of decent. Tom Cruise is who I'm referring to. So let's go ahead and cut down these trees. Jerry, who's cut? Slave? No, I'm just playing. None of my Pokemon are slaves. They're all friends. We're all friends here. And let's go ahead and cruise over to the cycle shop. Talk to Jerry or whatever his name is. The cycle guy. Thanks for rest. I don't know why I called him Jerry. I was thinking about Monferno, I guess. Thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my things. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it. I insist. And we got the bicicleta. It's the last, or it's the latest model. So I'll read the operation manual. Press the B button. Blah de blah. We know how to use a bike. So let's go ahead, get out of here, and basically go down here. Let's see how much, how long we've, we've only been recording for about 29 minutes. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I can sell my Max Revive, actually. Let's go ahead and sell. And I'll just leave the cycling path for next time. So, we're gonna go ahead and sell some stuff. I'll sell you some stuff. Sell this Max Revive. Um, let's sell this. I'm gonna keep that. Lagging Tail, I'm gonna keep that. Odd Incense. Sell that. What's the Power Lens? Uh, promotes special attack gaining but reduces speed. It sounds lame, but I'll keep it anyways. Honey, uh, if I already have a slow Pokemon that has like super high special attack, I'll give it to him. No homo. Um, mind plates. What is that? Uh, that's for that's for Arceus. Wide lens. An item held by a Pokemon that it magnifies it slightly, boosts its accuracy of moves. Eh, I'll keep that. It's not worth selling. And that's basically it, so I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. I do hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating if you did enjoy. Subscribe to Team Eclipse if you guys are new. Become a grunt today. And subscribe to my channel if you guys have not seen me before. The link to my channel will be in the description below. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Thank you.